Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's wait a moment for this war of mine to... There it is, to start back up. We are back into this war of mine. I have just uh, gotten a fair amount of supplies, generally for crafting. And yeah, things are on the up and up. We lost Katya a few, uh, two episodes ago, but Marin joined our team last time. And he is a bit of a handyman. So, the plan for today is everyone gets to eat. And that means Erica is gonna cook us some delicious food. Six meals. Me, oh my. Such luxury. And if at all possible, Marion should... No, 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 keep cooking, keep cooking. And you will upgrade the workshop. Unless you can't. Marin, I'm disappointed in you. Go back to sleep. Let's hope Franco comes by, or else we'll just have to look for more components um, this, uh, this next night. Franco, I was just talking about you. Indeed, indeed. Well, I have plenty of good stuff for you, Franco. Nice. What else? What else? We have some homegrown tobacco. With which we will buy even more components. Just two, in fact. Right. Anton has eaten, he can go right back to sleep. Everyone else needs to eat as well, though. I like how they're just running for the fridge. It's funny. Okay, we have lots of components now, which is very good. We have lots of bandages too, though. So we might have to think about trading some more good stuff. Hmm. If I give you a bandage. Very common stuff? Oh no, it's not. Exactly what I need, I can give you a lot for this, right? Okay, I'm kind of uh, unsure about this, because it is not that much, but I have lots of bandages, so... Two food and some fuel, maybe? Yes. What else can we cheat him out of? Hey, you can just take that. I don't care. Be risky to trade more right now. You have lots of materials. So what I'll tell you what we'll do. I will go to sleep. And you, Marin. Okay, you know what, Franco? I think right now we're good. We're good for now. I'm tempted to just throw in another bandage and buy these two. What about the broken gun? No, not good enough. Food is more important than a broken gun, I completely agree. Yeah, that's all we can do right now, Franco. I won't regret it. 
Alright, go back to sleep, Arika. And you, Marin, are going to be the builder of dreams. that fully upgraded which means we can build a hatchet if we have one more weapon part hmm. I'm definitely interested in some of these things but we'll see uh, we'll see tomorrow let's see why am I sleeping there's nothing wrong with me <laughs> just like me in real life, just go to bed. Hmm. We could upgrade the heater. But right now I think it's time to skip to the night. Right, where do we want to go? Warehouse is where Katja died. I do not want to go there. St. Mary's Church, kind of a scary place from what we've seen so far. I kind of want to just risk it. No, I think I'm going to visit the hospital for now. You guys sleep. Arika guard. I'll scavenge. Should be cautious in the hospital, but going to assume it'll be fine. I've never been attacked there before, but... Sleep, guard, sleep. Yep, let's head to the hospital and see what we can find. Maybe we'll get some meds. Well, at least we're getting crafting materials. I'm only gonna take full stacks. Gotta be efficient about this. No one come to greet me at the door? It's kind of creepy. There's something up there. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a medic. They can heal me if I need them to, but... Canned food. Going to the hospital has been a very rewarding experience so far. So I could steal from the hospital, but that's bad. And you shouldn't do it. Unless the situation turns really desperate, but... Hi there. I won't do anything stupid. I never do anything stupid. Who do you take me for? People who are trying to keep a hospital running in war. It's uh, admirable. <coughs> when I uh, when I played Valiant Hearts, the Great War, it's also uh, a game about war, but like the First World War. Uh, I really like the character Anna because she's like a, a field medic who volunteered, and that's based on real people in war who uh, pretty much sacrificed their safety to to help people out. <clears throat> in general, I've always had a lot of respect for people in the medical profession. When, when games offer a healer or medic option, I like to be that, because it's... Uh, I don't know, I like it. It's a really... Uh, really cool principle. Well, that's all there is for now. 
some canned food and a lot of crafting materials. Alright, I'll remember that. You can actually give them medications if you want. It'll increase the morale of your group, but it's expensive to give away. Look at this guy smoking outside the hospital. You think you're cool, don't you? And thus it was day 20. No raids, thank you. That would be terrible. It's twice in a row I've let everyone sleep. Are you guys alright now? Yes, you are. Arika, you're the best. You know that, right? You've kept this house safe. From evil. Can evil. That was a terrible joke, I apologize. Alright, well, I believe I'll spend some time on the story. I promised I would, and I still haven't done it, so... <clears throat> I'm a simple girl from the hood, and I know life. Street raised me more than my father did. That old sod beat me whenever he felt like it and knew how to make it hurt. That's all over now. He bit the dust in the first days of the war. I've been a cat burglar since I turned 14. You know how it is. I'm better at it than anyone you know, and I can sneak like a fox. You'd be a fool kicking me out. So that's her backstory. So, uh, as the days progress, you get more and more information about their their life before the war. I told you about my old man, I hated that asshole, but war does uh, things to people. That night when the bombs fell on Gravia something changed. What he did, I'll never forget it. You heard what they did in Gravia, right? On that night I got a shrapnel in my thigh. The army entered the city and indiscriminately started slaughtering rebels and civilians. We had to scram and I couldn't even rise from my bed. So I was just lying there waiting for death to come. I was hoping the old drunk would save himself, not stay with me till the end. Why worry about something you can't change? So that's getting really serious right off the bat. Let's see how it is with Anton. He hasn't really given anything of, uh, uh, about his actual story yet. And what about Marin? Oh, we already read his part when he came to the door. Right, I think we're uh, pretty up to date with the story. Not sure what I was whining about when I didn't want to do it because it would take too much effort or time or whatever. I just miscalculated, I guess. So, Marin, you don't need to sleep right now. You're only hungry. We still don't have any more weapon parts, at least not enough to... We could make a gun, and even a shotgun. Not a not an assault rifle, but I think I want to make the hatchet, so... As tempting as it is to build a few more saw blades, I think I'll hold off for now. Although... No, not although. I need to... I need to be resolute. I need to decide that that's not necessary right now. But still, there were like, uh, did I, did I get actually, I remember there being some grades at Sniper's Junction. No, no, not, not going to dangerous places, just. <laughs> I need to keep reminding myself not to take risks. This is a, a serious, uh, serious attempt. I don't want to throw it in jeopardy because I was looking for more pointless stuff. Okay. Hungry, 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 and tired, hungry, and tired. How much would it take for you to upgrade the heater? I just want to be prepared. Okay, that actually won't take that many essentials, so I think... Well, I'm the best at making electrical things, and he can upgrade the thing best, so... I should make the thermometer, and he can then upgrade the uh, the heater. So I'll wait until I stop being tired. At least we have seven canned food. Hmm. 
no one at the door today. I kinda traded away most of my bandages back there. A little bit scary. like everyone is rested and ready. I will upgrade the heater then because winter is gonna be uh, the worst. Like the worst. Let's see, thermometer or thermoregulator if you want to call it that. Let's upgrade the heater. <clears throat> I'm disappointed that no one's coming to the door. I guess Franco can come here every day. He has his own business to attend to. Man, the disadvantage of having four people is definitely the food situation. It's still looking okay-ish now, but who knows how long that will last. Hmm, well. Let's see. There are many places yet left to visit. The brothel, perhaps? Or the construction site is dangerous, though. Um, okay. Okay, I'll. S mm. See, I'm not sure what the, what these other places have to offer. But this one has huge amounts of food. Nothing has. Uh, some of, some of the things have like some some food, but huge amount. <clears throat> I'm kind of tempted to just go there and see what I'll see. Augard with Anton. Marin can sleep because he's the handyman and we need him to be uh, at his best. Okay, I hope I'm not making a terrible mistake here. I'll let him bring a knife. If I have to, I'll stab someone. I really hope I won't. I also hope this isn't a stupid mistake I'm making right now. Maybe I should have sent Anton. It's not like he's useful for art. Oh, that's mean to say. I'm sorry. No, no, no one, no one gets to die. The developer promised the apartment would be finished no matter what. You think they started the war? <laughs> okay, I, I'm just resorting to silly jokes right now. So I'm kind of conflicted because I could just take crafting materials and run. That's safe, but. I kind of want good stuff. Still, I'll put some stuff in my pocket so I can run. Things get ugly. Also, I'm getting some random frame rate issues. I don't like that. That sounds like a sniper. Who are they shooting at, though? Probably innocent people. They must be up here that then, I guess. Question is can I Well at least I'm in the building with them. Snipers are most dangerous at a distance. Although I'm sure they're pretty dangerous up close. The barrels could contain something good. Man, I'm worried that just at any random moment she'll get jumped by a sniper. I'll lose my uh, my other important character. I mean, Marin is good, but he's terrible for sneaking around at night. He's good for being in the house and making stuff. But at night and in survival situations, he's useless. 
All right. Sniper and friend are up there. Can I dig through here? Can I sneak past them? <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Why is you capitalized? More to the point. Where are they headed? I'll stick stick down here and see where they're moving. They seem to be going up. If they come over here, I'll run. I don't even care about food anymore. I'm not gonna lose Erica. Should I go up there? It's a sniper. I mean, if they if I get get into their line of sight, I'm dead. As a doornail. Where are they? Right, we'll need a lockpick for that, I guess. Oh shit! Uh, <clears throat> language, I'm sorry. Get down! <clears throat> That's some nasty language there, buddy. Run! 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 <laughs> I had not expected him to be there. And also to be so rude. I'm, I'm literally sweating right now. Not even kidding. What do I have? It's not really enough to justify coming here, but... At least I know where they're perched now, so maybe I'll go tomorrow. Maybe. Like, I mean, if I, as long as I know where they are, I can avoid them, more or less. But jeez, that what that got really scary. Yeah, and you should be thankful for that. Good lord, look at them standing there, like they're about to have an an, uh, an important talk. Like, Erica. The night was calm. We need to talk about something. Your smoking habit is getting out of hand. <coughs> right, it's getting a little bit cold, so let's uh, add some fuel. <coughs> I am not used to talking this much. <coughs> That's just terrible. Talk for a few minutes. Throat's all upset. Awesome, the traps have uh, caught us some delicious, delicious little animals. So yeah, I know it's it's a really stupid idea, but you'll notice the food situation is a little bit... I'm not sure if it can be called self-sustaining yet. And I just really, really... Uh, really want want uh, to be prepared for winter because I don't know when it'll hit probably around day 30 and when it does well we cannot be having just we need like at least over over 15 food I think in in reserve <coughs> Someone is at the door. It is someone who needs help, apparently. <clears throat> That's all fine and dandy. But first... Let's see here. For now we can cook four food. <clears throat> okay, go to the door. Hi there, neighbors. What's the matter, buddy? Good day to you. I live down the street and notice you're living in this bin. I got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know one they missed. It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get to it. But under the cover of darkness, we should be able to make it. Well, that's not a bad idea, Walter. 
but Walter. We need to decide who to send. And of course, it'll be Anton because he's useless. Anton, I've got a job for you. Go ahead. You can do it. <laughs> he's not useless, but, you know. Go ahead, Anton. Areka, you're, you're useful, so you can stay right here. Right, everyone has eaten. But Erica and me, Erica and I, are still tired. And we do not have any more weapon parts, so... What will you be able to buy for... Buy? Build for now. He can actually build most things fairly, fairly easily. Because he's the best. He's the best around. Ain't nobody gonna keep you down. Well, I think that's fine for now. So. Erica is resting, I'm resting. Pro Anton probably won't be home until tomorrow. So, let's end it there. <laughs>